Welcome to Book Talks with Diane. Today's book is Lessons in Chemistry by Bonnie Garmus. This book has received 4.34 stars from Goodreads. An utter delight, wry and vibrant and compulsively readable. Claire Lombardo, author of The Most Fun We Ever Had. Strikingly relevant, quirky and heartwarming, The Atlantic. Irresistible, satisfying, and full of fuel. It reminds you that change takes time and always requires heat. The New York Times. This book was a Barnes and Noble Book of the Year, a nominee for Best Historical Fiction 2022, and winner for Best Debut Novel 2022 for Goodreads Choice Awards. This book was also a Good Morning America Book Club book. Chemist Elizabeth Zott is not your average woman. In fact, Elizabeth Zott would be the first to point out that there is no such thing as an average woman. But it's the early 1960s, and her all-male team at Hastings Research Institute takes a very unscientific view of equality. Except for one, Calvin Evans, the lonely, brilliant, Nobel Prize nominated grudge holder who falls in love with, of all things, her mind. True chemistry results. But like science, life is unpredictable. Which is why a few years later, Elizabeth Zott finds herself not only a single mother, but the reluctant star of America's most beloved cooking show, Supper at Six. Elizabeth's unusual approach to cooking combined one tablespoon acetic acid with a pinch of sodium chloride proves revolutionary. <laughs> but as her following grows, not everyone is happy. Because as it turns out, Elizabeth Zott isn't just teaching women to cook. She's daring them to change the status quo. Laugh out loud funny shrewdly observant, and studded with a dazzling cast of supporting characters. Lessons in Chemistry is in a, as original and vibrant as it is protagonistic. I gave this book four and a half stars. I loved reading this book. Elizabeth is my kind of quirky. I really liked seeing who else Elizabeth was going to tick off. Her daughter Madeline was a treat also. But... I will have to say, I only liked a choice few of the men in this book. I laughed quite a lot while I was reading, and I think many of you will too. I would say this was a fun, cute, and easy book to read, with some controversial parts thrown in for good entertainment. This was my historical fiction Book of the Month Club pick for May, and I'm so glad I chose it. Thank you, Sheena for giving me this for my Mother's Day present. And thank you for listening. And I hope to see you again soon.